G'day everyone, Matt Elder Family Bricks here and just out of Legoland in early February 2022 just to see what it's like with a short break when the park is partially open. So let's check it out and see if it's worthwhile. This video is brought to you by McCatsum Holiday Homes in Margate and Broadstairs. Great for a week's holiday or a weekend escape, being just over an hour east of London, UK. Treat yourself to amazing sunsets, a Lego wall, or great food. Visit www.macatsim.com and mention this YouTube video and we'll look after you. So what you got is mostly the lower part of the park open because what you really have is mainly just the castle hotel over there and the main resort hotel over here open. So it's pretty much only the people who are staying here have access to the park and you've only really got the four rides running. But it's nice just having so few people here. This gives you a bit of an idea of what's available. So you've got Mythica, Hotels, Fire and Ice, the other hotels there, and then the Cars, Submarine, and then if you want to get up to the big shop, it looks like a drive or a walk all the way up. So pretty much the only people here are hotel guests. So the park's got a nice empty feel to it, and there aren't too many people on all the rides, and the queue time's quite short. And for anyone who knows Mythica, it's like a five minute queue, there's nobody here. It's brilliant, fantastic, straight on. How did that happen? Only the lower section of the park's open, so from just around the Mythica area, anything up beyond that is closed. You also have Creature Encounter open, so just one of those free build type things you go through. Kids can have a bit of fun with that one. It's strange seeing something like Hydra's Challenge, where not only is the water drained, but all the little vehicles themselves are taken away. Tasty Bites is open, but we went to get a coffee and that, and unfortunately the only thing they had was powdered milk, so that was a bit of a pass. You can always come up for a swim, which is great. You find if you come about 8, 8.30 in the morning, there's nobody there. The Lego lounge on the mezzanine level can sometimes be the best kept secret, and a few activities that they have going. Quiet little bar, we can order some stuff, some sports playing, movies, and some building. Hotel lounge has a brick pit. For little kids and big kids. And they had a bit of a fun build competition, which the kids really seemed to get into and sort of drove them to be really creative and build some interesting builds. The resort hotel also had some entertainment of an evening with the kids sort of singing and dancing, building competition, and also doing some skits and interactive sort of things with staff. And the castle hotel is open as usual, which is always a hit with the kids. Nice to see it lit up at night. But it is a little bit nippy and chilly, so certainly some coats and some layers. Interestingly enough, there's some lights in turned on in some of the attractions. Even though it's kind of closed. So would it be worthwhile coming out? We certainly think so. What rides they did have available, you were able to walk straight on to. So something like Ride of the Skyline, during normal times when it's anywhere from 30 to 90 minutes queue time, it's great just being five minutes. And then just balancing that with trying to make the most of the hotel and the activities and facilities they have on offer. It's a nice little getaway. The park isn't really open on the Sunday, however, so if you stay the Saturday night, make sure you're doing everything on the Saturday, and then you've got the ability on the Sunday to hang around and do a few activities here. It was nice for a quick one night getaway during term time with the kids and just being able to do things at a leisurely pace. It feels like they're just coming off Christmas and they're still gearing up for the season. Things are either not available or in really limited supply. Pre-arrival communication wasn't great and allegedly the haunted house was meant to be open but it was the cars instead. It's not really clear what's available and you're kind of fumbling your way and stumbling into things. In terms of COVID measures, you probably only saw about a quarter of the people, including staff, actually wearing masks. On right of the skyline, the temporary shields in the queues have been removed, so it's nice to see a sense of a return to normalcy, but if you're COVID sensitive, this might not be the place for you. A selection of building bricks have returned to the rooms, so it's great to see that, as previously they'd removed it for COVID. And surprisingly for the Saturday night, the hotels were completely full, so make sure you do book if you are planning to go. If you enjoyed this video and got something out of it, please hit the thumbs up button. Otherwise, please like, share and subscribe. That's it from us here at Family Bricks. Thanks very much for watching. Here are some other videos you might be interested in. Until next time when we talk about all things Lego and lifestyle.